Gravity is not there to ignore. It's a tool we need to do the things we do. That's because we are free riders and downhillers that love to shred, huck, and pin it. We ride our bikes on the steepest mountain trails and off of sharp drops. We live to flow jumps dug of the earth, jumps we've built of dead wood, debris, and really good dirt. We are pros and joes, the young and the old, man, woman, and child, we are all humans in motion, and the turning of our wheels keeps our blood pumping. We go to church at the trail, and the flow park is our school, where we learn from each other and become better with each run. and we come together as often as we can to ride. What, why the dedication? Where, where does that come from? And what is it that you get most out of mountain biking? I've been riding like, yeah, forever. I have pictures of me when I, when I had the old, just regular styrofoam helmets. It was always how high and how far I could go. It's always been my thing. I don't know, I don't know exactly why. I think the main parts of it are the adrenaline rush because you don't ever feel as good as you do when you hit a big jump, just like that. Or when you do something crazy and land it for the first time, you're thinking so clearly, you feel so alive. It's just such an awesome, empowering feeling. It's all about starting small and working up and working up, you know? It's just like learning tricks. Take off one hand, take off two hands, take off one foot, two feet, then you throw them all together. You know, it's just progression. And you, and you come up on it like that. And that's, that's definitely what I would say about that. It's not craziness, it's skill. This is a downhill bike, yeah. Uh, the things that make it a downhill bike basically are that it has a lot of travel you know, eight inch, usually at least seven inches can be considered a downhill bike. Um, it has slack angles, so it's a lot better for going faster. Usually they have a chain guide up front, so you have one, one ring. Uh, you can't lose your chain while you're going through the bumpy stuff. Uh, you usually don't have much of a big range of gears in the back because honestly you're not climbing these bikes. You're just, you push them up and ride them down, or if you're lucky, you ride a lift or in the back of a truck and ride them down. Pushing the bike up is good. As the Grom smartly tell us, you've got to earn your turns. Most downhillers, however, prefer the shuttle truck. It's more about runs and turns. This is Brian Bartlett. He brought the shuttle truck. Today he rides with Zed Tingey and Simon Lawton from Fluid Ride. Many downhillers and free riders link their careers to this shop. Downhill racers Simon Lawton and Lars Sternberg have a connected history. Like a heartbeat, they both teach and inspire the rest of us to shred. As a de facto professor of body movement and the bike, Simon writes the textbook, so I could not pass up a chance to step into his classroom and get school. And just relax. Just let all that weight go into your feet. I'm a 
soon as I point it with my right knee, that just commits my body to the floor. Talk, talk about the responsibility of being a pro rider. How now you're just maybe excited about having a job that's something you, you, yeah, you can love, do without. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So tell us a little bit about that. Like how you might have talked to your, your family and friends about it when it first started becoming a reality. Well, they, I don't know, they didn't really take it seriously. Like I'm still, I'm still not up there, you know, I'm still making my way up. You know, I'm just not, not really on the podium yet. So um, I don't know, I try to. Just keep in touch with my sponsors as best I can in the off season. Train, stay motivated. It's almost like a responsibility because like being at the level of riding that we're starting to get to now, you feel like, you know, you're you're helping the sport progress further and you almost feel like, you know, you're so dedicated to it that you have a responsibility to go out and ride and just keep it going and if you enjoy it that much then why not? Free ride bikes you can actually ride up. They all often have a seat. A seat tube, continuous seat tube, you can mount a fronty rail or two. Possibly have like a dual ring guide. You can actually have a front, you know, a front shifter and a fronty railer. Where yeah, it's heavy and it's got a lot of travel, but you can kick it down into a good, you know, a granny gear, big ring in the back and actually it'll take you a minute, but pedal up to the top and then ride down. I guess free riding really is just riding whatever it is you want. Some people say a free ride bike is a bike with a lot of travel. Really a free ride bike is any of these bikes. Free riding is just doing what you, you know, going out and riding what you want to ride, basically. I'd consider my trials bike a free ride bike. It may not do a drop as well, but uh, yeah. So free ride's kind of a strange word in that aspect. Bones Over Metal is about that deep connection with the bike. All around were amazing demonstrations of this. In the beginning, it was important that I got beyond definitions, status, who am I as a rider, and that I simply got out there and learned to ride my bike. Going up the middle, but they're also going left to right. Yeah, I wasn't going fast enough. 